Let me ask you all a question. Is racism wrong? Is racial discrimination wrong? Obviously, these things are wrong and illegal. Which should leave you wondering, how in the hell something like DEI could infect its way into every institution without a shred of scrutiny from our so-called protectors of democracy? DEI is inherently racist because it devalues both whites and Asians as inferior to literally every other group who the government and corporations put a higher value on. It really doesn't take much imagination or intelligence to see where that leads. This was recently demonstrated in public view thanks to a very entertaining exchange between one of the more prominent DEI promoters, Mark Cuban, and several others, including Elon Musk and a popular Twitter user named The Rabbit Hole. I'm going to fill you in on the debate up to this point and then the bombshell that happened today. But first, just give me a quick capitalism break so I can tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. If you're trying to navigate market turbulence, why not set course to the Noble Gold Investment Safe Haven? With global uncertainty looming, your savings and retirement plans are under siege. But there's one asset that has stood the test of time gold unlock the peace of mind that comes with owning gold the ultimate safe haven and if precious metals are new to you noble gold investments will hold your hand through the entire process they have a team of experts who will guide you every step of the way to safety. thousands of investors have shielded their retirement savings with noble gold investments don't leave yourself exposed to the markets right now it's way too risky with gold at an all-time high and looking to climb further it's the perfect time and right now get a free three ounce silver american virtue coin when you open an IRA with Noble Gold Investments today. Act now before it's too late. Call 877-646-5347 and claim your free coin now before it's too late. Or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk of investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. All right, so this battle over the legality of DEI began at the beginning of the month between Elon Musk and Mark Cuban after Cuban stated that DEI was critically important to the success of American corporations, saying that any CEO who doesn't implement DEI at their companies are committing malpractice. What? If you don't hire based on skin color and sexual preference, it's malpractice. Which shows you right off the bat that people like Cuban are living in a completely warped reality. And remember, this is from a guy with an NBA basketball team that is anything but diverse. Oh, that was different. This caught the attention of popular ex-user The Rabbit Hole, who chimed in to point out that airlines are now choosing pilots based on their gender and sex rather than merit. No way. Because think about it. They're already having trouble finding qualified pilots, much less with these stringent sex preference and skin color based guidelines. Cuban couldn't leave it alone and responded, once they graduate, it's a multi-year process to have an opportunity to pilot for United. Looks like multiple layers of merit-based evaluations before they can fly for United. Elon Musk just straight up calls him a liar. And then the rabbit hole comes in for the combo punch. You said DEI does not undermine merit autocracy. There are many examples, like the attached, that indicate that statement is incorrect. DEI is not worth defending. Let's work together to pursue colorblind meritocracy instead. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Since then, they've been going back and forth on this, with Mark Cuban seemingly completely unaware that what he supports is systemic racial discrimination, but seeing it as somehow different when it's done in service of an acronym. Now that brings us to the last few days with the rabbit hole discrediting Cuban to the point where he's whining about mean people. Twitter has changed a lot. I can remember a few times a years ago, I could post and expect responses from both sides of an issue leading to an interesting discussion. Now it's fun to post on X just to show that I can't be intimidated by mobs <laughs> in the echo chamber. It was at that moment that Mark Cuban wandered into an actual field of rakes named Andrea R. Lucas, commissioner of the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. Uh... It starts with the rabbit hole saying, yes, I would be against hiring a white person purely because they are a white person. Don't hire anyone, whites, blacks, or otherwise, on the basis of demographics. Colorblind meritocracy should be the goal like I've repeatedly said over and over. Cuban comes back, now explain how far your demographics extend. Religion, politics, ethnicity, geography. What exactly 
don't you get? I believe in a colorblind meritocracy. This means I am against forms of hiring which undercut merit, including forms of hiring which cut out merited individuals over their group association. I've answered plenty of your questions, so you gotta do one for me. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibits employment discrimination based on race, religion, sex, and national origin. Have you ever hired people on the basis of demographics on the belief that doing so better positions your companies to succeed? Oh boy, is this great! I've never hired anyone based exclusively on race, gender, or religion. I only ever hire the person that will put my business in the best position to succeed. And yes, race and gender can be part of the equation. I view diversity as a competitive advantage. Now you see now. You know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? EEOC commissioner here. Unfortunately, you're dead wrong on black letter Title VII law. As a general rule, race and sex can't be used as a motivating factor, nor a plus factor, tiebreaker, or tipping point. You've got to stop it. Is there any way to stop it? I can't. It's irreversible. What do you all think? Will there be any repercussions for what Mark Cuban has admitted that he and other companies in this country are doing? It's undeniable that it's illegal racial discrimination at this point, but will anything happen? Make sure to let me know in the comments after you hit that like button. Trust me when I tell you there's a lot more to read here that I didn't share because it would take an hour to do the whole thing and I just don't have that time, but I'll put a link to all these exchanges in my description.